Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. It is lovely to be with you all for our daily Lenten reflection using the book Have a Beautiful, Terrible Day by Kate Bowler. Our title for today is God Lead Me. And our scripture is from the Gospel of John, uh, John 8, verse 12b. And it says this, Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Over and over Jesus says, follow me, but I'm not a natural follower. In fact, I would like there to be a separate moving walkway in the airport for people like me who lose their ever living minds if they have to break their gait while power walking. I would prefer that God catch me when I'm in a dead sprint now that we're talking about it. Other times I'm hardly going anywhere at all. Some manner of undoing has dismantled all my plans and the only word I would use to describe myself is stuck. God, how can I follow you if I never seem to be going anywhere. Here's a little blessing for the moments of too fast and the moments of too slow. May we learn what it means to follow somehow. God, go and I will follow because truly I cannot lead. I cannot drag myself forward, chin up, and eyes on the horizon, when all I see is the mud caking around my feet. God, go and grace will follow. I've seen it all before, how in the smallest moments, the tiniest efforts multiply in your wake. We've seen the sunrise over an empty tomb and life sprung up from nothing but dust. So, all things considered, I suppose I should finally believe that you could do a lot with this day, my life, and these weary limbs, and learn to follow the God who goes first. Friends, your reflection prompt for today is this. Are you the very speedy type? A little sluggish? Or are you dragged down by life? What does following God mean to you in this season of life? And your blessing for today is this. We've seen the sun rise over an empty tomb and life sprung up from nothing but dust. So, all things considered, I suppose I should finally believe that you could do a lot with this day, my life, and these weary limbs, and learn to follow the God who goes first. All right, friends, I hope that you have a lovely Saturday, whatever point of your Saturday that you are in. Reminder, there's no reflection for tomorrow as it is Sunday, so I will see you back here on Monday. Take care. God bless. Bye.